Hi guys, I'm Reza and in this tutorial I want to show you how we can make some part of hair object dynamic and the other part of hair object is not dynamic. I create some plan and I press C key in my keyboard for editability. Then <coughs> I add some hair and I change the hair length 50 move up the plan and rotate it in the frame 0 I press set key and the other frame set key again and the other frame set key again ok if I play the scene, as you can see, my hair object is completely dynamic because the hair object in the dynamic tag is enabled dynamic. Okay, <coughs> I select hair and <coughs> I select brush tool, hair brush tool, and I change the mode in the uh, properties vertex paint by default it in the move mode and I change the vertex paint and <coughs> I change the uh, guide type to the guide mode I want this part of hair object is dynamic and the other part of the uh, hair object is not dynamic okay uh, I paint some hair the red area is not dynamic and the blue area is dynamic as you can see uh, the hair vertex tag created in the hair object and <coughs> if I select the hair object in the dynamic tab and the map part I can drag and drop this hair vertex to the rest hold part Deselect the hair in the frame zero. If I play uh, the scene, as you can see, uh, hair is uh, completely uh, dynamic again. But if I change the rest hold, for example, 100%, now mm, this part of hair object is not dynamic, and the other part of hair object is fully dynamic. You can change this. This part of hair object is 50% dynamic and the other part is 100% dynamic. And if uh, change this number to 0, completely dynamic. Okay, goodbye.